All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Veg Networking Canada. We're going to start with our land acknowledgement as we always do. We acknowledge, honor, and respect that much of the land that we are gathered on is part of traditional unceded territories of many Indigenous peoples, many different Indigenous peoples of Canada. And with everything that's going on in British Columbia with the recent flooding, we hope everybody is a okay Welcome to another episode of Veg Networking Canada, where vegan plant-based companies connect and collaborate. We have a very special guest with us today who has a Master of Arts in Philosophy. He is a world traveler for nearly five years, traveling the globe, writing poetry. He is an entrepreneur featured in film and television, including a feature in Lonely Planet as a must-try healthy urban treat in Vancouver. Along with their flagship pudding product, they also sell creme brulee, plant-based of course, and powdered mix for pudding and pie filling. Veg Networking Canada is pleased to introduce the owner of Vegan Pudding & Co. Welcome, Sora Takayama. Hi. Amazing. Thank you so much for your time today. We are so happy to have you here. And our first question to get to know you and your business more is a personal one. Can you please mm -hmm. tell us more about your own personal vegan origin story? Sure. Okay. So, okay. So back in 2007, uh, my wife and I started to travel Asian countries with backpacks. Yeah. Uh, we end up uh, staying in Perth in uh, Australia, yeah. Um, there's a uh, 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 much, much uh, disciplinary artist uh, there, and he asked me to join his project because I'm a poet. And um, yeah, so I joined his project and we became uh, friends with his family and uh, visited uh, his house many times. And uh, they are vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, like uh, it was super interesting to me to uh, see how they eat and live. So after a while, I, they went to a vacation and uh, they asked me uh, like a uh, house sitting. So and, uh, while we are staying in their place, we try to be uh, like a vegetarian. So like just trying just train, uh, staying in his house, uh, be a vegetarian, the outside eat anything, but just trying. But as, yeah, I, I like it. Yeah, kind of like a, fits me. So uh, I decided to uh, be a vegetarian at first. And uh, after that, I started to research uh, what's uh, like a vegetarian, what's a vegan. And I feel like a vegan is, is a more fits me because like a uh, rule is uh, simple, just like uh, animal animal products or not. So like a uh, simpler than vegetarian. So uh, so after like uh, I think it's just three months, three months later, I became a vegan, and that was uh, twelve years ago. Yeah, that is such a very cool story about how you started out of honestly out of respect for someone else you mm -hmm. were honoring what they their life their, mm -hmm. their their living and um and then you formed your own natural transition that's such a cool story thank you so much for sharing thank our you. second question is moving more from personal to business so mm -hmm. tell us more about your entrepreneurial origin story because it's it's interesting to think about how somebody goes from a backpacking world traveling poet to <laughs> running a business so tell us more about that Okay. Yeah. So during a traveling, I also write a poetry and uh, like a past the people I met during a travel. And I also became a vegan. So that's during a travel. Uh, I also like uh, cooking. Uh, I already uh, started like, cooking in uh, when I live in Japan. Yeah. Not working in a, a kitchen, but I just do it like uh, by myself. Like uh, every night I make a uh, pasta or something like that. Yeah, I used to, yeah, love Italian food. Yeah, also Japanese, but uh, yeah, also uh, I make uh, lots of Italian food at, at the time. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, but I, I also stay in uh, New Zealand, but uh, I, I want to be a uh, work at, at the uh, vegetarian or vegan restaurant, but it, it could, uh, I, I can't. I'm not, I wasn't able to do that at the time. 
Yeah. So, and uh, lots of people recommend me to come to Vancouver because Vancouver is a super uh, vegetarian or vegan friendly city. So that's why I came here. And uh, uh, finally, I, I started to work at a uh, uh, vegan and organic and raw food restaurant. It was a uh, uh, organic lives. It was, uh, yeah, do, do you guys know? Yeah. Oh yeah, yes. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, a cl closed down, I think uh, seven years ago, I think. Yeah, be because of a fire happened at the restaurant. And after that, the one year later, I closed down. But uh, they supported me to get a uh, uh, permanent residency. Yeah. So I got a uh, permanent residency. And uh, one week later, it was closed. Yeah. So, like, uh, yeah, it's uh, sad, but also yeah, like a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm here. That's why I'm here. <laughs> And uh, so uh, staying now uh, Vancouver, I also started like a host uh, poetry reading event uh, with a uh, vegan food made by my wife. And I asked her uh, she could make like a vegan custom pudding for the event as a dessert. Because uh, yeah, I, I used to like a puddings, like a Japanese style puddings. But at the time, already like uh, three or four years, I didn't eat any puddings because puddings need an uh, egg and milk. Yeah. And so she created vegan pudding recipe and uh, it was super popular as an event. <laughs> yeah. And after that, uh, many of our friends asked us to uh, make a uh, vegan pudding again uh, for the event or uh, another uh, for friends' event or something like that. Yeah, so we started, uh, decided to start like a, do like a catering, very beginning, and catering number is grew. So I, we decided to start like a small takeaway window pudding shop in 2015. Yes. That is so amazing. And we've heard it time and time before from our special guests about um, the reason that they started doing what they're doing or providing what they're providing is because they could not find it in the marketplace themselves. And mm -hmm. their next best thing was, well, if I can't find it, I'll be the one to create it so somebody else can find it. So that's amazing. And for those who don't know about the uh, small little window delivery, it's pretty, pretty iconic. It's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, <laughs> and so I know that there's been some growth um, well, we all know that there's been tons of growth in the plant-based vegan space. So our next question for you is, mm -hmm. um, what are trends that you are seeing in your industry? Yeah. So I feel, so like recently, so the restaurant like a plant-based or a vegan is, looks like not a vegan or plant-based. Yeah. So they, they're not mentioning vegan or plant-based like a, in the front. So it looks like a regular restaurant, but uh, if I read uh, uh, details, and finally I can see that in the, in the end, oh, it's plant-based or it's a vegan or something like that. That's, I think that's uh, like a, uh, uh, now uh, the torrent, now that, like uh, uh, I think like uh, 10 years ago, like a uh, vegan food is a more like a taste of vegan, I feel, yeah. I, I, I used to like it, but uh, maybe many people don't like it. But uh, now is a vegan food is like a taste good or taste go great, like a, like a regular food. So people just eat like a pizza or ramen or anything. But uh, the, after that, they realize, oh, it's a vegan or plant based. Oh, but still good or something like that. Yeah, I like it that the way. So <laughs> that's uh, yeah, I think yeah, some trend yeah. I, I, I think that's so cool because uh, I'm, I'm noticing that as well, that um, good, good food, we don't need to necessarily throw um, certain language in front of it, right? Like if it's a delicious burger, it's a delicious burger. To your point, if it just ends up being vegan or plant-based, uh, right. even more bonus. Um, so maybe a trend is really leading with um, taste and the deliciousness of it all. Um, and then kind of stacking all the other benefits, uh, animal welfare, environmental welfare, all the other stuff on top of it. So that's, that's great. Um, so speaking of eating vegan pudding and co, yeah. where is your brand going in the future? Do you have any news that you want to share? Uh, yes. 
So the frozen cream brulee is our new products. And um, yeah, we can we can be a frozen like we uh, we have like a fast frozen system now. So we can frozen the cream brulee. So we we are plan to like a spreading frozen cream brulee all over Canada or uh, states or all, all over the world as well. <laughs> so like a powder mix, we also have a dry powder mix. Uh, they are going to uh, like a spreading Canada recently. And yeah, more growing more and more. That's our plan about the vegan pudding co. And uh, I also is okay to speak another project as well. Yeah, I'm be uh, yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to open like a, a Kofu pressed sushi restaurant as a corner uh, uh, in uh, January 8th, uh, 2022. So next year, like I so saw two months later. Yeah, uh, it was a plant based, based sushi and a soba bar. So yeah, no fish and no alcohol, but it looks like sushi and alcohol are like a bar. Yeah, near Granville Island. Yeah, that's a, uh, my new project. Well, thanks a lot, Sora, because I haven't eaten yet. And now all I can think and taste is sushi. So I can't wait until January 8th to come and try that sushi. And yeah. Granville Island is, for those who don't know, Granville Island is such a iconic little market uh, here yeah. in Vancouver, BC. So yeah, near, near Granville Island, like a very close to like a uh, entrance of our Granville Island. Perfect. A perfect place to go have some sushi and then walk around with the family. And to Sorrow's <laughs> earlier point, I mean... Um, it's going to be a destination where everybody who likes sushi and soba can go and enjoy it. So that's incredible. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing that news. That's exciting. Thank um, you. So there's no right or wrong answer to the next question. And maybe it's from a business standpoint, or maybe it's just something that you've done personally, or maybe it's something coming in the future. Who knows? But the next question is, does Vegan Pudding & Co. or you support any charitable organizations? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so not charitable, but I support like a, a non-profit organizations uh, such as a Power Street Festival, yeah, uh, in Vancouver. And so right now, uh, if you become a member of a Power Street Festival Society, you can get a wonder off of uh, our coconut pudding at our shop. <laughs> okay, and was that Power City Vespa? Uh, Power Street. Power Street Vespa. Yeah, Power Street ha ha has a uh, like lots of Japanese people living there. They Powell are Street. before Powell yeah, Street. War. Got yeah, it. Power Got Street. it. Powell Street Vespa. They're very cool. Okay, so for those of you who want festival. Uh, well, sorry, just to clarify, festival Powell Street Festival. Okay, <laughs> perfect, perfect, amazing. That's so great. That's such a great little way to build community and uh, cross pollinate different markets and and <laughs> customer bases. That's that's so cool. Um, okay, Sora. Um, from an entrepreneurial standpoint, do you read any books or use any apps or listen to any podcasts that you would think are valuable for other people to know about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So usually, uh, how, how I get like, uh, information about vegan is or sustainable. I use, uh, Instagram. Yeah, just to use uh, some hashtags and uh, yeah, get the info to so, uh, English side and the Japanese side. And yeah, I can get the both side. And uh, some, how about a book? It's not related to business, but like a more poetry side. Uh, the famous Japanese poet is that uh, he's uh, Kenji Miyazawa, is a uh, super famous in Japan. So every Japanese know him. And I also he uh, like his poetry and his book. And he was uh, a vegetarian for a while. Mm -hmm. So like uh, he's super old, like uh, he lives in like uh, 100 years ago. But yeah, he, he's a kind of like a yeah, artist. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he also uh, uh, writing about a uh, vegetarian. Actually, yeah, 100 years ago already in Japan. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but uh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, so the title is a vegetarian great festival. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure it could be, I think it's translated in English as well. So, yeah, if you have a time, please read it. Yeah, Kenji Miyazawa. Wonderful. Okay, great. <laughs> um, 
I, I feel like I just want to have a whole nother conversation about your own poetry, but I'll fight my urge and stay on track here. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any brands, whether they're local or global, that inspire you and your Vegan Pudding Co. team to do what you do? Are there any brands that really, truly inspire you? Oh, inspire me. Oh, yeah. Uh, inspire and uh, I want to support uh, like a uh, so local uh, company is uh, like Jimut, Jimut Chocolate. Yeah, because I like it. Yeah, gym chocolate. Yeah, because it tastes good. So when I when I go to Japan, I buy lots of gym chocolate uh, as a gift for Japanese friends. <laughs> I also like uh, tempeh, you know, tempeh, yeah, tempeh. So um, when we go to camping, I always buy a tempeh and do like a um, vegan barbecue with a tempeh, tempeh, tempeh. <laughs> and uh, uh, when I when I live in uh, uh, New Zealand, uh, so also I researched about the Canada and or oh, and I, I at the time I knew like Whole Foods Market, so lots of vegetarian option, vegan option, and organic food there. I also find that like nice shoes in Vancouver, right? Yeah, so vegan shoes store also here. So I, I was super excited at the time, and I came here and I yeah. I went to nice shoes many times. I bought lots of vegetarian shoes from there. <laughs> yeah, they are super insp inspired me to me. Yeah. <laughs> I love the the local um kind of vibe that you're that you have. You're talking about Zim chocolate, tempe tempe, um, and nice shoes. Nice shoes. Uh, th those who are from Vancouver know how much of a staple. Uh, those businesses and those business owners are in the community. And I did not think personally that Tempe could be as good as Tempe Tempe. So for those of you who haven't had it yet and were like me in thinking, oh, it's just Tempe. It's totally not. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. Yeah. Much different. Yes. Oh man. Yeah. So I know exactly what you mean. Okay. Before we get into the last question, um, mm -hmm. do you want to tell everybody where they can find the product. I'm sure that's what people are thinking. They're thinking vegan pudding, vegan creme brulee, where, where can I get it? So do you want to tell us a little bit more about what your distribution looks like and where people can find you? Okay. Yeah. So Whole Foods Market carried our coconut pudding and the TNT uh, carries our soy milk puddings. Yeah. That's two uh, supermarkets are like a uh, big companies. Uh, also City Avenue Market and the Palm Nature Market carried our products. And uh, and uh, eternal abundance and uh, spud also carried our cream brew and the powder mix, so you can get the uh, order the like, home delivery. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, something like that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that, absolutely perfect. Yeah, and um, we'll tell people about your website after because I'm sure that there's some direct to consumer that they can get it right from right right to their hands. So. Okay, Sora, the last question that we have for you is always preface by saying there's no right or wrong answer. Um, it's don't feel the need to be modest in any way, shape or form. We are truly asking um, for what is some advice that you would give entrepreneurs in this plant based vegan space, whether they're brand new whether they've been doing it for five or 10 years or they're, you know, they're further along in their career, but do you have any advice that you think is valuable to share? Okay. Yeah. So if you start a business as an owner, I want to remind you that it will be your life. So if you work as an owner, always thinking about the, the, my own business. So, and uh, for me, the most important things is like, enjoy life. So I think, so we should enjoy uh, our business, our own business. That's the most important things to me. So uh, a vegan as well. So I, I became vegan uh, with a lot of reasons and still uh, I'm vegan for 12 years and have a lot of reasons, but the most important things is a uh, fun. So vegan is fun to me. So that's why I'm still vegan and I, I, I'm going to continue. Yeah. So I think, uh, yeah, most important thing is we, we should enjoy it. Otherwise, so for me, as a, like a thinking money out too much, it's not really fun. And uh, it's, it's, so if not fun, it's difficult to continue. 
So it's yeah, important to continue and continue, I think, even uh, like uh, small, small steps. But uh, yeah, so yeah, it's important. Yeah, enjoy. Well, it. You, you heard it here, folks. I mean, if you're a business owner starting a business, don't be confused that it's going to consume your life. <laughs> and, <laughs> and with that being said, make sure that that life that is being consumed is an enjoyable one. Um, and surround yourself with people uh, who can continue to make sure that it's an enjoyable one. And, and, and that, that's incredible advice. Really, really, um, gra- uh, really, really like grassroots, inspiring, humbling advice. So thank you so much for that. Uh, before we tell people where they can find you online and on Instagram, is there anything else that you want to mention? Is there anything else that maybe we missed? Um, I don't think so. So we, I also have a, like a new po, uh, new flyer about uh, uh, Kofu Breast Sushi. So if possible, I'd like to share about that. Yeah, I'll share it. I got it. Oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah. So, okay, perfect. Oh, yeah, perfect. Sandra, yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sandra does a wonderful job. You'll, you'll be copied on it, I'm sure, of sending out communication to uh, the group and everybody, making sure that everybody knows what's new, what's happening, and what's going on. So... All right, folks. Well, if you're like me and you're drooling, um, thinking about uh, vegan pudding and vegan creme brulee and vegan pie filling and all that good, great, delectable stuff, check out more online, www.veganpuddingco, just how it sounds, veganpuddingco.com. And again, you'll drool because it's more visual on, on Instagram at vegan underscore pudding underscore co just how it sounds vegan underscore pudding underscore co and stay tuned because if you're a sushi fan you're going to be able to uh really indulge come january 8th in the new year so yeah sora thank you so much for joining us here at veg network in canada today we're pleased for all of your success and uh it's inspiring to see a business owner who's been vegan as long as you have uh with such a Uh, a bright, uh, thriving spirit as you have. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Bye, everyone. See you next time.